Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Thursday, the 10th of March. Starting off with Angle, where we're just uh, relieved that uh, after bouncing a couple of times off that um, support line there from uh, May last year and the uh, falling RSI support line there from August, shares in uh, Angle actually went up and uh, they actually headed towards uh, resistance on the way down in the upper 80s. In fact, we I think peaked at 90 uh, earlier today or 89 and a half. Current view is that at least while we're above the uh, neckline resistance there at 79, we could see further progress for the shares, maybe towards 90 to 100, which is uh, uh, would be a, a, an attempt at a meeting with the 50-day moving average falling just above the £1 level at the moment. A bit of a buzz around uh, the next stock, uh, Angus Energy. Uh, investors looking for... Uh, one and one to equal three, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, what's interesting here is a chart where we had that uh, um, sort of uh, tree shake down to uh, the 0.6 uh, level, which was um, at the end of January. Uh, left a gap there. And what we want to see now really is an end of day close above the uh, top of that gap at 0.95, which hopefully we'll get relatively soon. Above that, then looking for 1.3 retesting January resistance. Bullish, I suppose, while we're above uh, the recent swing low around 0.73, but um, ideally we get that uh, 0.95 plus close and the shares move higher. Stock which I haven't covered very much uh, of late, but you can see that um, the shares did deliver with the bear trap gap reversal, gap down there in November and then closing uh, the gap and uh, haven't really looked back since. But we had another gap to the upside unfilled, so that was a double uh, gap signal along with the island reversal, uh, which was uh, completed by that um, gap down we had in September. So charting working on Argos, and uh, here we have the shares attempting to hit the initial target at the top of that broadening triangle from this time last year, as high as 4.2 or 4.3p over the next week or so. If you're a fan of the shares and looking for uh, greater glories, then uh, that could come in the form of a move towards that resistance line there at six and a half from uh, back at uh, back in November, uh, that trend channel from that uh, month uh, heading towards uh, six and a half, maybe by the end of next month, something like that. So looking quite encouraging there on Argos. On to a stock which is um, worth a look at the moment, not normally in our type of sphere because it's a bit bigger than the micro caps we normally look at, but we've gapped up here for Boohoo. Through that resistance line there from November, that should be significant and uh, suggests that at least while we're above that resistance line and the floor of the gap at 80 pence, we could see a move back towards uh, post-February resistance at £1.10 by uh, well, basically over the next four to six weeks or hopefully even sooner. Uh, audio boom, uh, another bounce off the 50-day moving average for the shares. So we have one of those back in uh, January. We've done that so far this month as well. Uh, just a bit of resistance on the way down around uh, 1920, so an end of day close above that, and um, then we could be back in the uh, in the in the game for a move within this rising trend channel from October with an implied 26 pounds uh, a share target, and uh, the upside certainly valid while there's no end of day close back below the 50 day line currently at 1720. Moving on to Corsol, which uh, I think somebody was uh, asking about or asking. Uh, uh, on Twitter about, let's say, here we've got a rising trend channel. Shares have uh, gapped up uh, so far this month, which is impressive given the current conditions. Uh, good support here in the 1 to 1.2 pence area. And above that, and especially about the longer we stay above the rising 50-day moving average, which is a plus point, we could head up to uh, 2.8 or even 3 pence at the top of the one-year trend channel on Corsal. Moving along to a requested stock and um, what a journey this has been over the uh, recent past. Here we've got uh, Chill Brands and um, what you can see here is that we've had uh, what hopefully, if you're a bull, will be uh, an exhaustion gap to the downside, so breaking that old support uh, area around 9 pence. Uh, bounced off this um, support line there, falling one from November, around uh, 4 pence. And above that, well, the ch shares have got a chance of filling the gap up to 7.8 pence maybe over the next few weeks, something like that. But obviously this is a falling knife and uh, not for the squeamish. Covering a few stocks today which have uh, uh, been on the back foot of late, just to see where they are on the uh, sort of the charting front. First one is uh, Deep Verge, which uh, 
basically it's gone into deeply oversold territory, RSI around uh, 16, which is uh, the most, it's most oversold it's been for quite some time. I suppose the last time it was this oversold was back in March 2020. So um, you can gauge how uh, on, on, sort of on the back foot that the stock is. You should see a, a bit of a reaction maybe towards the um, upper teens uh, support in the 17, 18 pence area uh, back uh, in February. Uh, so it would be logical that while there's no fresh low, we could have a little bit of a rebound for deep verge back into that area. Moving along to uh, another stock which has uh, been um, pounded a bit over the recent past, Mode Global, if I can get the right uh, stock there. Uh, here you can see again another stock which has gone into deeply oversold territory, so the RSI around 20 there for Mode Global at the moment. Haven't been that oversold since, um, what's that, the end of 2020 when the RSI was down below 10. Uh, it just gives the impression that the shares could head back up towards February resistance and the 50-day moving average around 15 pence, uh, especially if you get a bit of a bounce off this uh, RSI support line, which uh, obviously worked a bit with Angle uh, earlier in this video. On to Open Orphan, uh, where uh, we have had a bit of a bounce here now off a falling support line, finally came through um, uh, around the 11, 12 pence area, also bouncing off that falling RSI support line as well. That gives the impression that we could head back up towards uh, 17 pence, which was the uh, support both in December and uh, January, and also uh, is the area of the 50-day moving average just above it. So let's see how we go there. Another stock which bounced in yesterday's rally was uh, Powerhouse Energy. And uh, here we've got a situation where it uh, looks as though we're sort of, um, well, we found a double bottom there with the old August support around 2.7 pence. Bit of resistance now around three and a half, so an end of, end of day close around three and a half now required to give the shares a chance of heading towards the uh, February resistance around four pence maybe by the end of this month, something like that. We have broken that uh, RSI resistance line, so that does give us a bit of encouragement uh, that the shares could stage a bit of a rebound. Moving on to uh, Quantum Blockchain, which is uh, been one of my favourites uh, over the recent past. No, I don't think the shares have uh, particularly reflected that, but we have had a bear trap gap reversal over the last uh, week. Uh, so we gapped down uh, at the beginning of the month and uh, then closed above the gap yesterday. Uh, the old support there, 1.9 pence above that, one would expect the shares to not only break that line of resistance there from October, but also retest uh, the initial 2022 resistance around three pence perhaps by the end of this month. Finishing off with the uh, Tiraparty, which uh, uh, also gives the impression it's uh, uh, had a little bit of a bear trap there. The old December low there around uh, 64 pence. So at end of day close uh, or a weekly close above that level could give us a little rally back up towards the 50 day moving average at 76 pence over the next few weeks. Good bullish divergence there with the lower low but higher RSI there for the shares versus where we were back in November. So a little bit of a respite there for Tiraparty shares. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.